you are still watching ways. Adora, what did you find first in the news? So this is for all the chat GBT lovers. Because, um, <laughs> I use chat if open AI to make their essays. So um, it's over reliance on AI is dangerous for accountants and businesses in the future. Because a lot of people think AI can't make any mistakes. Mm -hmm. Like it's been coded, it's an algorithm. Like it should be a perfect, but that's mm -hmm. just not the case. So it just talk it just talks about the chairman of the Institute of of audit says that it's important to, to verify the mm. chat GBT and AI is like always correct. 100%. Like just on that topic, I was talking to one of my friends in school and we were just gisting and she's like, I don't like to use chat GBT to write my essays. And yeah, I was like, you're really moral, you know, maybe it's because you're just, you know, really. <laughs> but then <laughs> she's like, no, I just personally feel like I can do a better job, which is the truth. You know, because it lacks that personal touch. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and it's so available, even on Snapchat. Exactly. We have robots that can just say whatever. <laughs> I'm just adjusting with my AI. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you have for us today? Okay, so unfortunately this week, bandits killed two Plati teachers. Youth demand ban on open grazing. So the bandits have attacked a secondary school in the Riom local government area of Plato State and killed two teachers. And it was learned that unfortunately, the victims were a newly married couple who were teaching at the Beko... BECO comprehensive secondary school in the queer community of the council area. It's quite unfortunate and disheartening how people lack such sense of humanity. Yeah, that is terrible, terrible news. Could we please take a moment of silence for the lives that were lost? Okay, Moraka, can we hear what you have for us in the news? Fuel crisis in Nigeria. Oof, oof, oof. Yeah. So nothing new. <laughs> 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 so oil market says announced on Sunday that the price of oil will increase to between 680 and some 20 liters naira per liters. Mm -hmm. This is due to the depreciation in the naira against the dollar. Dealers seeking to import petrol were forced to put their plans on hold due to the scarcity of foreign exchange to mm -hmm. import the good. And the National Parent Teacher Association of Nigeria mm -hmm. has appealed to President Sinibu to intervene and to do everything you can to just stop the increase in the fuel price because it's getting ridiculous. Speaking of ridiculous, is it not just absolutely insane that we still have to rely on importing petrol? Yes. <laughs> what was so rich we're so exactly. yes. Anyways, since we're already on bad news, Nigeria's headline inflation jumped to 24.08% in July 2023. And this is the highest recorded leap in 2023 and a while. So speaking of this, I come from a rather big family. I don't want to say a big family because I have three younger siblings. It is a big family. <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> it is a big family. So, you know, and we're also obsessed with milk. So imagine we run through a tin of milk in like two days and then we go to the store and one tin is like, how much is it somewhere? Like I think it's like 7K. That's it's ridiculous. absolutely ridiculous. So you, it's just so crazy to see how all these big changes are impacting our lives in such little ways. We can only pray that things get better. I mean, we are the change, after all. <laughs> Young leaders of tomorrow. So it's National Relaxation Day in much lighter news. So you would think that an adult came up with this holiday, but no. It was actually Michigan-based Sean Moeller who thought of this day in 1985 when he was nine years old. So in honor of this very important holiday, turn the volume up, kick your feet back, and relax. So National Relaxation Day. Yeah. No. The teens are still taking over on this day, <laughs> working <laughs> while the adults are yeah, having same. their much needed relaxation day. So I hope you all enjoy this. Um, so um, see you after the break.